everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Chris you reach Chris loves Lux and today is the long-awaited Surat Beauty video now specifically I'm reviewing three products the foundation the highlighter and the blushes because that's what I got okay I just want to point out something before we get into the actual tutorial and the review um, they can't they came in this in this very pretty and innovative I will say packaging that's almost the products came in here so the little bubble wrap is inside of this reusable um Surratt packaging and I don't know if you can see it says Surratt right here um I love it I think it was this is very very now you can kind of see it Surratt but I love it I was like, oh, look at this. This is nice that it came in like this. So I can keep this. And when I'm traveling, I could put the products in here. So I thought that was very innovative. I haven't seen it before, at least not in any of my orders from other brands. So very happy about that. But like I said, we're going to talk about the Surat Dewdrop uh, Foundation. We're going to talk about the highlighter. We're going to talk about the brushes. But before we get into the review, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me at Chris Loves Lux on IG. Don't forget to like, comment, and share on this video. And that's it. Let's get into the review. I'll see you at the end. All right, everybody. Eyebrows done. Eyeshadow done. I just used a Natasha Bieber, Bieber palette today because um, I do have video calls today. So the both eyes are the same. I know you guys are used to me having two different eye looks, but that's what we're doing for today. And we're going to go in with the Surat Dewdrop Foundation. Here's the component, very pretty. This is in the color 12, the shade right here. Um, it twists off, screws off. And it, what's interesting, I have been using this foundation, so this is not a first impression, okay? This is just you, me showing you my review, my thoughts about the Surat foundation, how you dispense the foundation. Because you see, it doesn't come out just by turning it upside down. It's actually... You can see that little bubble right there and then you just press it down with my relatively long nails that's kind of like a one pump but not really because you can just keep pressing it down which I'm gonna do oh sorry I wasn't showing it in the camera there you go and then that's it so you don't have to worry about spilling it um, once you know it gets probably down to the bottom you probably have to stow it upside down i'm thinking i'm not really sure so for those of you that have been using the Surat dew drop for some time if you're almost out because you really can't tell because you can't see inside the packaging right like most products foundations you can see how much you have left so how do, does it keep dispensing out very interesting very interesting um, but let's jump right in. Uh, so I primed my face with the Milk Hydra Grip. I don't know. I don't think this is going to be enough foundation, but we'll see. As you can tell, no, this is not enough foundation. That's the one thing about this particular style of pump. Me getting used to how much I need, and I do this every time I um, dispense it, is I never dispense enough, but that's okay. I would prefer to keep dispensing it rather than pick too much I mean dispense too much in race waste product As you can tell, the color's pretty spot on. Mm -hmm. 
some see and this is in studio light even though my windows are open too I have a lot of light on my face right now the finish is I would say light to medium coverage I'm sure it's buildable I'm not building it up because I don't need it built up um, but you see how easy it was to blend out no issues blending out. See, I have a little friend that popped up right there on my face. Definitely hormonal. So, they're visiting, but that friend will be gone in a day or two. So I didn't purchase the concealer yet because I wanted to try the foundation. I have really been loving this foundation. I have to be honest with you. Um, I'm just going to use the Pat foundation um, concealer. The coverage is so good for this lightweight foundation, right? So I... I lost my oh here it is sorry um so if you have a lot of hyperpigmentation um you can probably build it up from my understanding and um get good coverage i'm thinking though that you will still have to spot conceal or color correct if you have dark spots before you apply the actual foundation The wear of it, because I have oily skin, I still like the way it wears. I wore it, the longest I wore it was for 12 hours. I was shiny at the end of the 12 hours. Um, it's not meant to be worn that long. So that wasn't any you know, defect of the foundation. But in, let me tell you, I was just oily. It still didn't separate. Or anything which I thought was interesting I just had my t-zone was kind of an oil slick as I call it right just because I had it on for so long I probably uh, blotted I'm trying to remember twice I blotted six hours and then I blotted at like the eighth hour and then I forgot honestly that I had it on until I was time for bed I said oh crap I forgot I had foundation on so that just tells you how lightweight it is um you see how it works well with this pack concealer I must say if you can tell the concealer just kind of blended in with the foundation I am really really impressed I have been really impressed the first day that I tried it I actually posted a pic on my Instagram at Chris Loves Love saying okay now come come with the with the foundation because I was really really impressed uh, with how it made my skin look feel because I honestly like I said I forgot I had it on after a while that's why I was on for 12 hours because I went <laughs> I was ready for bed and I was like okay time to wash my face oh I have makeup on and not every foundation gives you I'm just powdering with my airbrush flawless, flawless filter um powder but yeah I I was really really impressed And the funny thing is the day that I had the foundation on, I didn't set it with powder and it's still like 12 hours. I did not see separation. I did see shine. So today I am powdering with my other airbrush fullest filter. This one is in 
three dark. I use two medium for my under eye. And I am going to just blend that in. Not a lot, because I don't think it needs a lot. Honestly, that day that I didn't, I didn't set, it wasn't that big of a deal. So I just want to lightly set. I'm getting a lot of kickback in that pan. Okay. So I'll come up closer. Here's another friend popping in. But as you can see, let me just move it down a little bit. It's good coverage. And I could build it up if I wanted to just could probably cover it up a little more. But honestly, I don't want to. I think it's fine the way it is. Okay, so really quick, what we're going to do is do my bronzer, which I am going to go in with my Gucci bronzer. Let's finish this look up. bronzer let's put a little on my forehead even though nobody sees my forehead anymore Now, in addition to in addition to the uh, foundation, I also purchased the blush and a highlighter stick, which we're going to use right now. So this blush is the Tor Torch Lumiere. Luminaire. I know I'm saying that wrong. In uh, D or D uh, apostrophe O R. Here is what it comes in. Same type of packaging that the um, foundation uh, comes in. At least the component. Here is the color. Isn't that pretty? Oh, okay. I am going to put this on before I put on my actual um, blush. But let me just swatch. That's the highlighter. She's pretty. She's pretty. And I'm just going to put it before my blush today. It's a nice, subtle, subtle highlighter. Look at that. She's subtle, she's pretty. She melts into the skin very nicely. And this is how much product you get if I, this is a lot of product. Okay, I'm gonna put it back down now. Definitely, definitely a very pretty, and it snaps close, pretty highlighter. Oh, I forgot my nose. Nice, subtle highlighter. Now we're going to put the blush on. I'm going to do the rest of my eyes off, off camera. So... <clears throat> I actually bought three different blushes. I bought three different colors and they come individually, 
but then I you buy the case if you want to. I wanted to, so I bought a blush case. And here are the three colors that I got. One is, uh, and honestly, guys, they, once you put them in here, you forget who, what, what um, row, what what color is in which row, because once you tape them in there, and they come with a little um, adhesive, so it sticks into the the palette. That's the only challenge, like you have to remember. And honestly, I don't, but I will look it up and put it in the description box, which one is which. So we'll call this one one, two, and three. And then in the description box, I'll tell you what's number one, what's number two, and what's number three. Does that make sense? Hope so, because that's the best I could do because I straight do not remember. But we're gonna go in with number one, this one right here, and I'll tell you which one that is in the description box, okay? Just grab a clean blush brush. Okay, we're gonna go in here. It's a lot. I love these blushes, y'all. You see how I didn't put a lot on. It blended right in over that highlighter. I'm really trying to go for a light natural look today. So I'm not trying to really, like we say, beat my face to the gods. I'm not trying to do that today. Really light. This found, I mean, this blush though, it's subtle. You guys see that? It's really, really subtle. It's nothing out like um, patchy about it. It just blended right into my skin. I adore these blushes. Not that I needed it. I mean, I adored it to the point where I went back online like, okay, what other ones I'm gonna get? But all the ones I wanted were out of stock. So I just keep stalking the website. Um, but like I said, I will put online, I mean, in my description box, which ones I have. Remember, I put on number one and I will put on there what number one, two, and three is. But here is what my skin is looking like. Oh my gosh, do you guys see that highlight? under that blush y'all come on now okay I'm going to finish the rest of my look and I'll be back all right everybody I'm back here's the final look and look I said it earlier I'm gonna say it again this Surat Dew Drop foundation you know this is not a first impression because this is a review because I have worn it a few times since I got it and you know I'm satisfied more than satisfied with the results right i could see myself pulling this out on those days that i just need to like cover lightly and throw a, you know a light blush on i love the blushes i highly recommend and i know the shades are a little kooky just so that you know because like 12 you know the way it works some shades, they're not in chronological order, right? So it's not like it gets darker with every as the numbers go up. So what I would suggest, because Sarah does free Zoom consultations for you to get your shade match, I highly recommend that you do that. I I guessed, right, at the shade 12 um, and just purchased it. So highly, highly, highly recommend this foundation. Um, and this highlighter now I'm going to get it not that I need any more highlighters we already know that I just decluttered it but anyway I do like this foundation I mean this this highlighter as well now these blushes baby oh, excuse me these these blushes I want them all, but I'm not gonna get them all. I have three, I'm gonna get three more and I'm gonna cut myself off, right? So I'm gonna get another palette, put three more in there and then I'm gonna cut myself off because um, I decluttered blushes for a reason and 
I can't just sit here and keep adding to it even though I kind of want to but these colors are everything to me remember this is one this is two this is three number one this color right here is the one that I have on my cheeks right now um, it gives the most prettiest wash of color I also love the way it blended and it kind of just sunk into my skin and I just overall very happy with the look you see this is a very natural look a very everyday look so I can start my day I can go ahead with my work schedule and I'm loving it I'm really really loving it um Alicia from Kiki Sweat has her code still active until the 17th. I'm hoping that they extend it, right? And it's Kinky Sweat 25. I'll put that in the in the um in the description box below because 25% off, honey. Okay, that's what I use to get these products, and that's what I'm gonna use again so I can go ahead and put another order in because 25% off is better than any VIB sale. Okay, so um I highly recommend all the products that I tried today. You know me, I get real critical real easy, y'all. Y'all already know, those of you that have been watching me for some time, you know I'm real quick to point out, a, a, I don't like that, right? This right here though, this foundation, the highlighter and the blush, I'm loving. So I am gonna jump into some eyeshadows and dip into their eyeshadows and see what I like. So that's gonna be in my next order as well. But I wanted to put this out here. I know a lot of people are trying to figure out their shade. If you are um, a shade match to me, if you're my shade twin, shade 12 worked fine for me, right? I also know that they will send you samples too, especially if you do the consultation first, right? I do love the service that they provide because a lot of people will just say, just buy it if you don't like it, return it. And that's not, you know, especially now, you don't want to go through all of that. You would prefer that at least you had some guidance into what to purchase, right? So I love the fact that they're willing to do that for you. So anyway, you guys have my thoughts in regards to this foundation, the blush, the highlighter. I'm hooked. I'm going to go all in and get some more stuff while Alicia's coat is still working. Remember, Kinky Sweat 25. I will put it in the description box as well as the um, blush names that I have in my particular palette right now. Okay, again, final look. If you're wondering what's on my lips really quick, I will tell you I have Pat McGrath's um, Ground Control Lip Liner on with Pro Proper or Proper Beauty's Victress Lipstick on my lips. Proper Be Beauty makes some beautiful lipsticks. So that's what I have on my lips. Leave a palette on my eyes from Natasha Denona. That's it, that's the look and I'm feeling it. So let me know down in the comments, are you thinking about Sarat? What do you think about the look? What do you think about the finish of this foundation? How is it looking? I personally, like I said, I love it. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to follow me on IG at Chris Loves Lux. Don't forget to like, comment, and share on this video. And most importantly, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay tuned. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.